one thing as an international student, when you do come abroad, you have no clue where to look at. And so student accommodations are something that are useful. Through then you know like what areas are around. At least you have a space to stay, knowing there are other people like you. And so you can feel like more relaxed and you can start your journeys together. I chose this accommodation mainly because of the overall aesthetics of the place, the facilities that come with it. It's right in the center to travel to university and to go to central London. When I first moved in, I was very impressed because the pictures that I saw online, it was exactly like what I imagined it to be. The facilities are top-notch. They have a gym, they have a roof garden, they have a roof terrace, and they have a theatre room. We've got table tennis, pool table. We also have laundry facilities, which is really great. My favourite one would be the social space because that's where we all meet each other. The community in this accommodation is lovely because when I first moved in I was new and I didn't know many people but I got to know many other international students and some days like on the weekends we would all go downstairs and we'd just hang out and get to know each other. When I decided that I wanted to shift here the first thing I did was call up the accommodation team and they were with me on the call throughout the way and it was quite easy because all I had to do was just go on the website, apply through the form that was there. A very positive thing is that the university takes responsibility uh, as a guarantor. It's very flexible regarding the payments. I just had to have a talk with the team and believe me, they were the ones who did everything and even to move my stuff from my place, they arranged a car and taxi for me. So it was very easy and quick. What I think is better about staying in student accommodation is the whole extra bills, electricity bills or the taxes and we have to give them proof of being a student and then obviously talking to the landlord and then one other person who is sharing the house might have an issue and then there's a whole drama about it which I don't have to face staying in a student accommodation.